Hi. Today what we're going to do is a little spot that I call around the house. I've got a list of items that we're going to look at that everybody needs to know how to do around their house. So here we go. Looking at this door here, the door is kind of hitting the bottom of the drawer and also pulling the drawer open, it hits there and it's, and it's pulling this open. So we're going to take a look at that and see what's going on with it. Okay, this, this style of cabinet door has um, hinges that are recessed hinges. And uh, if you notice there's some screws here that is attached the hinge onto the cabinet. Well, there's enough slop there, so if you loosen up those screws, you can lift the, you can push the uh, cabinet door up or down. You got to do both, both sets of hinges, and uh, we're going to see if there's any. See, like this one here, this one's loose, and that could be the reason why it's sticking. So we're going to line this up, tighten everything down, and uh, see what we got. We've also got some other adjustments here, but those adjustments are for something else. So for this little particular portion, we're just going to be interested in the top and bottom screws there. Okay, these top, these two screws here, this top one and the bottom one, they've got Phillips threads on there. Uh, sometimes you can't loosen them with the Phillips threads and you start stripping out the head. Uh, use your standard, usually there's a slot on there too, you can use a standard screwdriver on there to loosen them up. Then you can adjust them with the Phillips once you get everything adjusted and tightened down with a Phillips screw and you think you're done, use your slotted screw, screwdriver, and tighten it just a little bit tighter and uh, then you won't have this problem again. Okay, we're going to adjust the, we're going to make the attempt to see if we can adjust those screws so that we can slide, we want to try to take this cabinet door and slide it down before we start uh, seeing if we can adjust the drawer. So that's usually the first thing that you want to try first. If the door doesn't make it work, then we'll look at the drawer next. In order to get back here, you see that it's going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to have to get way back in here and do some finagling. So I'm going to have to move some stuff out of here first. Make sure you always have everything moved out of your way before you get in there and break something or can't do it because stuff is in your way. So go ahead, we're going to move this stuff out of these cabinets. This is something you really want to invest in. It's just a little knee pad. It's like a gardening pad. And I um, keep this for all my stuff so when I kneel down, I don't kneel right down on the ground. Um, it works out very nice for my knees. I really like this. So it only costs a few bucks. And I'm going to use just a little flashlight. It's always kind of handy to have one of those around to get into dark corners and stuff. Got most of my stuff out of the way. Um, this particular cabinet has some sliding trays out here. Uh, it's kind of nice, uh, but they're in my way. So uh, most sliding drawer slides like this have a mechanism um, to loosen up on the side here somewhere underneath. This particular one doesn't, so I wanted to just show you. If you just look around, there's some notches on here. This whole tray kind of pops out of the whole unit. So we're just going to gently lift, lift this up out of the tray like that. And now we got, we got plenty of room to work. I'm going to do that with this bottom tray too, just so I can get to the hinges. The hinge is way down here, so then I'll have plenty of room to work. This is what you got to do to get in there sometimes and do some of your work. Don't be afraid to get right in there, down and dirty. Don't be shy to lay down on the job. I want to show you these screws again because we did in fact have to do something else too and I'm going to explain that. Uh, here's the top screw and the bottom screw that, that we undid and that gave us a little bit of room because the, because the door was so high up I knew I had to slide it down there. Okay, so I did that. It was still rubbing slightly. So there is a, another adjustment screw. There's one right here 
not this back one, this this front one. And that kind of slat that that's kind of pushes this hinge in and out so it moves the door a little bit. So by playing with that one and the one down at the bottom of the cabinet door, you can push one in uh, and pull one out or do this one out, the, the bottom one in, and sometimes that moves your door just a little bit. And uh, so we actually use two different adjustments on the door and I'll show you, show you how it works, how it looks. Okay, I've looked at my door here and um, I've got a nice clearance here all the way along here now. Um, I, didn't, I didn't have it, anything here before. I lowered the hinges down and I tightened those, the screws on the back side of the hinge. And then I also uh, played with that uh, other adjustment screw that I was telling you about. And I got the door to kind of tilt down just a little bit. So uh, my gap here is now the same as here. And I've got plenty of, of gap just in case the drawer ever wants to uh, slide down, uh, sag in the future, whatever. Um, it's looking really good now. So this works fine. This works fine. So I can cross that one off my list.